Oh, he even he said, "Was it the GI Jane joke?" <laughs> it is my, it is my, it is mine. He was like, "Yo, this dude straight violated me, like for a GI Jane joke." Yo, I seen a meme. It was like, it was like, it was like Will Smith. Will Smith smacked uh, Chris Rock only to be given an award that looked just like his wife. <laughs> Mush sandwich. Let's talk. You know what it is? This is Smush sandwich. Smush it in your face. <laughs> All up in your face. Yes, in the face. Yes, in the face. Ugh, in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Stupid. That's shit crazy. Nah, but um, I guess today we're gonna talk about something that everybody else is talking about in the whole world right now. Uh the will. Smith, smack of the century. <laughs> the Mr. Five, fingers, five fingers to the face. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but we, man. But we should come at it at a different angle. Everybody's talking about the slap. Everybody's talking about, you know, should he have slapped? Honestly, I mean, you could talk on that, Ryan, you know what I mean? But Honestly, I don't really care. Like, I'm more interested in, like, the topic of, like, Black people. Like, yeah, Will Smith obviously did something that's crazy. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is, should we as Black people publicly, uh, what's a good word for it? Disparage Will and Jada for that? Or should we, you know what I'm saying, hold that, for like behind closed doors and try to support a black dude publicly or mm -hmm. a black family publicly. Or right, should we just right. we should just go crazy and 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 say whatever we think on our mind and let the world know. I mean I could see where that whole supporting the black family like not um indulge in you know the, the, the private matter of, of, you know, of people's homes. But at the end of the day, who am I to sit there and say, yo, we all shouldn't talk about it if you putting it out there to the public. Now, it's one thing if like this happened behind closed doors and somebody pretty much exposed it, then I'd be more like, nah, that's, that's kind of effed up. The person that exposed it need to be dealt with. You know what I mean? Because why would you expose, you know, um, you know, the, the 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 trying times of a married couple and ex expose it to the world because of who else because of who the particular couple is yeah. you know what i mean like you did that you did that for your own financial gain or for your own notoriety like why would you why would you expose that but when you yourself put that to the forefront for the public to see you embarrass not you embarrass yourself and your whole family and that's going to be like that for years to come like the way the same way how we talk about the Kardashians and the things that they do, they, they do to themselves or whatever, and we continue to talk about it, what, what happened between Will and Jada is going to be discussed for years to come. Not just, all, because all that correlates, like, you know, what happened between them and then the smack, that all that is going to be a part of that. And unfortunately for Chris Rock now, he's also going to be a part of that. Like everything that he does going forward that's going to be a footnote in his career. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. do I think we should talk about, you know, like as far as black people should, when certain things happen, should we discuss it? When, like I said, if we, if, the, if they themselves put it to the public, it's open for discussion. If, All right, but let me, let me ask you this. Maybe I should word it differently, right? I think once somebody put like their business out in the streets, of course people are going to talk about it. But maybe I should say, is it right for black people to turn around and like disrespect like Jada or disrespect Will and like call her a hoe or a witch, mm -hmm. 
call him like wheat or like mm -hmm. uh, a cuck, a cuck mm -hmm. hole or something like that. You know, it's like like should it get disrespectful just because they put their, their personal business out there? Like we can have an opinion on it, but should black people be disrespecting them in that way? Um, I, I, I understand where you're going with it. I understand where you go with it. And maybe not, but that's the same couple that a lot of women would used to be like, yo, you know, uh, couple goals or relationship. Yeah, goals. Right, yeah. They wanted to rep they wanted to replicate what they the, how that couple looked in the, you know in the early parts of their in their in their you know with their relationship. Everything when you see Will and Jada, it's, like, it's almost like every woman wish that she can find a man or have their relationship that replicates what it looks like that they have. You know what I'm saying? And we never knew what was going on behind. We, we always heard speculation and rumors or whatever, but yeah. we never really knew. But people still wanted to be like, yo, you know, couple goals, relationship goals. They wanted their relationship to emulate that. And now that this is happening, it's almost as if like, in a sense, especially a lot of women, and they may not agree to it, they're hurt because they were probably the ones who were saying, I want to be in a relationship just like that. And now that this happens, it's almost as if like, you know, like your favorite athlete or something like that. You got caught doing something, you know, treacherous. Yeah, and like now doping. it's like, you know what I mean? And now you're yeah. so hurt because it was like, yo, this is somebody who I, I, I worshipped or, I, I, you know, how they they, they, they they revered. And when now this happens, it's like, yo, now they heart broke or whatever. So now the backstabbing in, in which they also feel like happened to them as if it was something personal that happened to them, you know, personally, they're voicing it and in that particular way. But at, yeah. at the same, but at the same time, I understand what you're saying. Should people should we be, should we necessarily like express disrespect? I okay. mean, because personally, if it that you, or you when you see these things happen, you start to think of like, yo, what if that had happened to me? Not even just if it happened to me, what if it was Will that did what she did? I think she got the better end of the deal. Yo. Since you said that, I just want to play this real quick. Every man who allowed an evil, cankerous whore to be in their presence at age 45 and old, if you allow an evil, wicked bitch who fuck her son's friend to accompany you on your shoulder in public, you ain't gonna get nothing but drunk. Let's just start saying that. You cannot sit up front at the Oscars with a ball head, bitch, <laughs> and expect nobody not to say something. It is impossible. You cannot but as my man Willie B said, all oh, in all, even Lupita had a wig on. Lupita, Jennifer can bitch ass to them. She knew better. All right, so. I you some people. Yo. With a ball head. All right, so. That's what I'm saying. Like, all right, we're gonna have our opinion about the whole August Alcina thing. And what do you even want? To, okay, but good. I'm saying, like, everybody's gonna have their opinion. They're gonna be like, that was wrong. She's emasculating Will, or people are gonna support her and say she's a strong black woman. She raised a good thing. People are gonna have their opinion, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. You have your opinion. That's fine. But my question is, when it gets to that level, where you like calling her a bald headed this and that and when it gets like kind of disrespectful like i think that's funny honestly here's why i here's why i say i'm not here's why i say it's fair here's why i say it's fair mm -hmm. right because anything a black man does to a black woman the black community attacks him for it yeah all the time because it's always it's always we have to protect our black women we have to worship. We have, you know, all this other, like the black woman is the most disrespected. And oh, there's, there's, 
Everybody comes out of the woodwork to support this woman when she's done wrong. When she's done wrong, everybody comes out to support her and have her back. When a black man is done dirty by his wife, people make jokes about it. Yeah. And that's what's been going on with Will. She pretty much made him look bad. You know what makes it even worse? Like, Will is from Philly, right? Nobody really, like, okay, it's just Will is from Philly, but it's like he's that soft dude from Philly. Nobody really, nobody's saying that Will's, it's like, okay, you from the hood, but you ain't really, you, it's, we've all, we've all, if you ever been in certain neighborhoods or whatever the case is, just because a dude is from a certain neighborhood don't mean he's tough. I'm not saying Will isn't tough. I'm not saying that. But for, for a typical dude from the, the uh, from the streets of West Philly. I hear what you're saying. It's like, from comparing, typical dude, comparing, from a it's like comparing Beans to Will Smith. In a sense. Because, like Billy the Kid. To right. So now if who, uh, for, for Jada, who I think she's from Baltimore, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody know the, 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 the way she walks. Everybody respects her because of all of that, especially because of her relationship with Tupac and all that shit or whatever. People yeah. give her her love. But Will, for the most part, people don't, people, like, he from Philly, but it's like, it's like, it's just a little footnote. In, it's just a little footnote in his life. Okay, yeah, he was raised in West Philly. All right, fine. But again, it's like a typical dude from the streets of West Philly. What do you think would have happened if Jada and that person she would have did that same thing too. Yeah, it wouldn't have went down like that. You, and then, and then, now mind you, mind you, not only would it have went down the same way, it the way he might have responded, it would have been far worse. What the, the 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 reception he would have got for him, his reaction, than what she did. Yeah, because to me, that's like when um, just to add a little. Uh, perspective to it that's like when um Nicki Minaj was dating uh Meek Mills no yeah like if if Nicki Minaj would have did the exact same thing that Jada did mm -hmm. there's no way Meek Mills and people can say what they want about Meek Mills like because some people think Meek Mills is soft yeah they think he's soft but there's no way Meek Mills would have sat at a table <laughs> and let her just like yeah like like, like just down do, like just like don't she pretty much she is she laughed about it she poked at him she shitted on him like for everyone to see yeah to the point where it's like that interview between the two of them it's now voiceovers to to further the disrespect that happened to him at that table yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, like, I just feel, I just feel like what happened with him and when he, when he decided to smack Chris Rock, it was, it, it was, it was misdirected. <laughs> oh, <it's not. laughs> it was misdirected. It was misdirected. Yeah. That wasn't for him because, because, you know, honestly, that joke wasn't really disrespectful. It, it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't at all. And That's even for Will Smith, the same thing for him. If it was somebody, like nobody really in their right mind really believe Chris Rock is that particular. Well, I'm, who, who knows what anybody is capable of? Yeah. But from the outside looking in, when you look at Chris Rock, you don't believe Chris Rock is going to, you know, run up on somebody and whip their ass for anything. Yo, that's what um, I think dude said that. Um, but Avery Spears was like, like, he feel like Will Smith was uh, corny for that. He said but that. Um, but it's always like that. Like, anytime, yeah. you, anytime you, dis you decide to beat down somebody who's less than you, you get no points for that. Exactly. He you was get like, no points for that. He was like, yo, you actually laughed at the joke. And then he was like. It's Even Jada like, laughed uh, at the joke. Yeah, he was like, Jada must have, like, looked at him and said, Tupac wouldn't no let money. that shit slide. <laughs> see and the, see it's like it's like yo to his here's my and you know here's here's the thing right here's what's funny about that right 
I've listened to everyone. I remember he, uh, Will Smith was on a Breakfast Club interview and they were referencing like if he ever felt like um, that he never lived up to, I guess, whatever the relationship was to, between Tupac and, um, and Jada. And he said, yeah. you know, it's pretty much like, fuck yeah. Like, I don't believe I actually, you know, he don't believe it. Yeah. And it's like, and his, his, his was messed up, right? If a woman now, if she's in a relationship with a guy and she feels like she's always compared to his previous girl, yeah. That everyone revered and loved, but she doesn't get the same type of attention. She's going to go to him and feel a particular way where he's going to have to give her some resurgence, some reinforcement to let her believe and understand, yo, how he feels for her, how he loves her, what have you, whatever. He has that's, to, that's a fact. He has to, he's going to have to put that out there. Yeah. So I've never really heard her squash that. And like, look, what I had with Tupac, that was just, we had our friendship. That was something completely different. What I have with my husband right now is on a different level from any other relationship I've ever had. And that's the crazy thing because she always says that whatever they had, Tupac and her, was a friendship. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but when you look at it, I mean, from the outside looking in, it does seem like that friendship was, was more than just on a higher depression. pedestal yeah. than her husband. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't understand that, but hey. right, right, no, that's that's suspect. Period. Yeah. That's suspect. Period. Because if you think of like if you in a relationship or whatever the case is, and your girl, she like you, you got a, you got a homegirl who's your best friend, whatever the case is. All right, fine. She came into the situation knowing that, but then she feels like yo. You and you, you're spending entirely way too much time with her. You talking to her way too much. She knows things about you that you never wanted to tell me. She's gonna be suspicious about this. Yeah. He's gonna be suspicious about this. So if you love her and you want to be with her, again, you have to give some positive reinforcement to her. That's gonna make her believe that. The narrative of whatever it is between you and Shorty is nowhere near what it is between what it is for you and her. That's some Dr. Phil shit, but that's facts though. It's, it's, it's real. It is real shit. And I'm like, yo, like, like to watch Will Smith over the years just spiral the way he has. Because Will Smith was just always this upbeat cherry dude who's just, you know what I mean, just all over the place. This dude is but one of the number, like pretty much like as far as actors or whatever, he's probably like in the top five, if not top 10 of all time. Actors and actresses, whatever, however way you want to slice it, he's there. When you talk about like rappers or whatever, he may not be one of the nicest, but he's in history because he has the first rap Grammy. Yeah. yeah. He's done TV, movies, music, like the triple, the, the, the trifecta, like. And social media. And it is what it is, son, he's been there and done that. Yeah. And to master all of that, and the one place where you want to feel superior or you want to feel like you get, you get, or, or you're the king or whatever, your wife just been making you look like a bitch. Yeah. Like the craziest thing uh, Avery, Spear, Avery, Avery Spears said, was Will Smith was telling Chris Rock, keep my wife's name out your... You should have told her. You should have told August Alcina to keep himself out of her mouth. Yo, now, if he would have if he would have reacted and said that right after the slap, yeah, it could have been mayhem. Yeah. It could have been mayhem. And I think at that point, even Chris Rock responding like that, I still wouldn't even have blamed him for that. I mean, Chris Rock, I, yo, a lot of people are saying it, but I got to reiterate it. You have to give him his, you have Chris to give Rock, him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. You have to. You have, you have to, you have, because you know I, mean? I would say one out of a billion would have reacted that way. No, probably a million. I won't say a billion, probably a million. Because I don't probably, know, man. If, if, I don't, yo, I don't care where we at. 
You woke up to being slapped I, I don't think there's many. I don't think there's plenty. I, I really don't. Nobody I know. Nobody I know would have had that much composure to just eat that like that nah. and just still be professional. No way. I don't know anyone. No. I don't know. Don't, don't, don't. At some point, yo, I remember even when we was in school, when we was in school as little kids, the kids who, who the, the ones who even didn't want to fight because they couldn't fight, you do something like slap them in the schoolyard in front of everybody, their pride, their soul feels that. They have to <laughs> yeah. react. It's a rap, like yo. They have to react. It's matter of fact, I think it's like natural instincts to react. So the fact that Chris Rock was able to compose himself in that professional manner, that takes a lot of like discipline. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. Like it honestly, we it joke don't get around. more professional we, than that. It don't get we, more professional than that. We joke around a lot, like you know, like if the rock <laughs> <laughs> Like if the rock like oh. slapped the girl on the butt or whatever, <laughs> you would just be like, "I," right, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fam, but, but, but see, there's real, there's right? levels to that. There's levels to that, and I mean, realistically, realistically, it, nobody. There's listen. There's buttons that everyone has that you can push, and it's like, look, I'm losing it. Yeah. It's just, it's just interesting. Yo, yo, I, you know what's funny or whatever because about about comedians or whatever. I mean, it's almost as if like it's an oath that they they that they have to take. Where it's like, look, once you decide to go down this, you know, go down this cave and take this up as a profession, you understand the better you get as a comedian when you're gonna start, you know, making jokes on people. You're going to offend people. There's going to come a time or whatever somebody is going to try you. You have to understand that, that, was the, that that's going to happen. There's yeah. no way in hell in your, in, your, in your career of being a, a, a comedian where you start going at people, somebody's not going to take offense to that. Case in yeah. point. Case in point. We've, if you was raised in the 90s, we've all watched a show by the name of In Living Color. Yeah. The Wayne brothers, they made fun of everybody who was a somebody as far as celebrities. If you was yeah. infamous or famous, if you was if you was an A-list, they made fun of you. Yeah. One of one of which, one of which was Mike Tyson. And everyone knew the type of gorilla Mike was at that particular point in his career. Yeah. Mike was not a smiling, in, a smiley dude or whatever the case is. Them motherfuckers continue to push his buttons, and they and I, they was in interviewed and they was like, "Yo, Tyson done, Tyson done ran up on me before at like uh like I guess like celebrity events and all that stuff, whatever. Only thing is, social media wasn't around. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Nah, Jamie Fox had a funny story about that. About him, and L, what, the one with LL Cool J, or, or uh, uh, the, the the one with Mike Tyson. All right. Yeah. Oh he yeah, had, he had a joke about Mike Tyson, and I guess some girl knew about the joke, so she was like egging him on, like, "Yo, tell tell him Mike Jason, tell him Mike Tyson joke." Right. But Mike Tyson was in the audience, so JB was like, "Like, shut the shut the hell up!" Like, <laughs> but somebody was like, "Nah, tell the joke." So he told the joke and Mike Tyson approached him after the show. And he was like shook. Like he thought he was because like, what wow. can you at that point? There is nothing you can do. Yeah, it's like it's like death just knocked on <laughs> your door. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, all right, I'm ready to but go. But you still do it anyway. You still do it anyway because this is your profession. Yeah. That's along the lines of you not telling a joke. As along the lines of a fight of, of a fighter saying he's not gonna he's not gonna fight this fighter. But you know the cool thing about that story is that Mike was like, yo, yeah, that was funny, man. Come come with me. You know what I mean? Like he took him and they went into the, the limo and he was like, Mike was cool as hell. You know, but Mike like, was scary as hell at the same time. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> Pissing his pants, boy. Oh my god. 
like Mike is the type of dude that even when he's nice, you kind of like apprehensive, like because <laughs> he don't know if he gonna dumb out. Yeah, you like he's like he's like, thing, he's right? like like you no. don't even you don't even drink vodka, you don't even drink. And he's like, yo, taste this, and you like, okay, <laughs> you gonna have to take the L, yo. Yeah. That's, that's funny as hell, man. Like you just think of it, like. If you go be apprehensive because you never know if Mike go sit there and dumb out, and that's just who his personality is. Imagine when you, that's just you not saying anything about him. But then you got jokes about him? Yeah. Damn. Damn. I heard he slapped like Robert, what was it, was, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, that was in the movie uh, Black and White. Yeah. That's the joint that had Wu-Tang in it. Yeah. Yeah, that was like, Mike didn't even know that was real. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, Robert Downey Jr. or said something gay towards him, but that was a part of the script. Yeah, and Mike, Mike, his, his, his <laughs> you Mike know, he, like, he flipped. What? He flipped. <laughs> like he just, yeah, he smacked him. Yeah, Robert, he's yeah. like, that was real. He did get slapped. I, I'm like, that's crazy because again, you was in acting mode, and he wasn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't. Yeah, and it's like, what do you do? There's another Jamie Foxx uh, story where he was like, Stevie Wonder was at a party. Stevie Wonder was singing. Everybody was having a good time. A chick went up to Mike. Mike was there at the party. And she just wanted to take a picture with him. And he was like, no. He's like, you want to send me to jail? You don't want a picture? Right? And everybody started freaking out. Like, yo, what? And he was like, Stevie Wonder was like, <laughs> Like Stevie Wonder even tried to get up and run because yeah, he, Stevie Wonder his eye he he he, go, he caught sight for a minute like he was able to see for a little minute. Like, he was <laughs> like, "Yo, I gotta get the hell out of here. I can't even see, but I'm I'm a, I'm gonna see my way out of this situation." That's a fact, yo. Like, oh my god, yo. Like, I, yo, this situation or whatever is hurtful. To be honest with you, like the you know the Oscars is a situation where black people have felt disrespected because they weren't acknowledged, you know, for their craft. Yeah. And this was a night a lot of Black people was acknowledged, and then yeah. something like this happens. This shit was hurtful, yo. Like, as you get older, as you get older, it's like certain, you, you want to, you, as Black people, you want to see more proud moments for them, especially in a situation like that, because these are people that we enjoy watching. You know, uh, like, who's yeah. it, Morgan Freeman, uh, whatever. You see Will Smith getting his... You know, yeah. all this stuff or whatever. And it's like, goddamn, like, you serious? Like, I mean, I thought about that. And people might be upset with me for saying this. But I feel like this is one of those moments where Black people are trying to assimilate and, like, in my opinion, appease what we think right. white people want us to be. Right? Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that Will Smith was right for slapping him and I mean, that's that's wrong wherever you at. But I, I do feel like to a certain extent, it's like people feel more pressure, Black people particularly, feel mm -hmm. more pressure or feel more like ashamed because we feel like we should have lived up to this expectation. Around white people? Yeah. And I feel like, I mean, I understand it, but it's like, I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I agree in some sense, but I don't think, well, for some people that probably might be the narrative, that's how they might see it. I, I didn't necessarily, I didn't care. It, to me, it's not about white people. It's just sometimes you just want to like, yo, can we actually just act accordingly? Yeah, I agree. That's with all that. it is for me. It's like, it could just been a group of black people. We could, Yo, it could have just been a party full of black people. It could have been yo, like a source. Right. Like, yo, you just want to be able to go there, enjoy yourself, see everybody having a good time, laughing, dancing, chilling, and go home. No shenanigans. Nothing reported on the news. Exactly. Like, you, I, you know the funny thing? The funniest thing of, of all of it is say Will Smith went on the stage, slapped him, sat back down, right? And didn't say nothing else. That would have been like, I'm, it's, it's weird to say it, but it would have been like, everybody would have been like, yo, was that a part of the show? People still say it even with that. And yeah. 
But then and it would have been more like it could have, it could have, they could have probably if it, if he didn't say what he was saying after that, yeah. they could have probably spun that and made it a bit exactly for the show just to kind of like, you know what they thought it would really bring some type of, you know, okay, it was something, it, it, you know, it's like we did a little something different. Exactly. You know, people may even question it, but it's like, okay, like you know. The Oscars or these type of awards, Academy Awards, whatever, it's so everybody's so uptight. Everyone is, you know, tight ass about everything. It's like so no, it's almost as if like shit, you can't even trip and fall. Yeah. Because it's it's not a it's not a, it's not, you know, going according to plan. Yeah. So now if we do this, it's like I it may cause some type of ruckus, but it's different. Yeah, man. Like I felt like. Because if he would have never said, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth, right? It would have been almost funny. Like, it would have been hilarious <laughs> that he went on stage. Because, I mean, when, even when he slapped him, it was like, oh. It, was like, he, it didn't seem like he really m intended to hurt him. It seemed kind of fake. You know what I mean? It, it looked, it looked kind of fake. You know what I mean? Like, even the way Chris, Chris Rock was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it looked like it looked fake because so, it seems as if like Chris Rock, he it, it he's not. When it happened, it seemed as if like it happened to him before. What do you mean by that? It happened to him before. It seemed as if like he wasn't in unfamiliar territory when that happened. The way he took it. It's almost as if like a dude who got punched in the chin, he could just, <laughs> he just ate it, but he was still able to keep boxing. That's how it looked. Like, yo, he yeah. got a chin on him. Like, yo, he done got hit before. He done got chin checked before. He know how to take it. I mean, I can see that point of view, but I feel like, because like Will Smith is not a, he's not a small dude. He's a, he's over nah, six he got feet. him. I would say he got him by at least like 40, 50 pounds. Facts. <laughs> right. Like, yo, Will Smith... You would think he woke up that morning like, yo, I choose violence today. Like, <laughs> I choose that, right? But when you think about it, the way he slapped him. <laughs> the he way didn't he lean into him. that. He didn't lean into it. If he nah, didn't lean into it, he could have nah. probably, like, staggered his rock or whatever, but he didn't lean into it. Nah, not, a, not at all. Like, because if he really wanted to hurt him, he, he could have hurt it. He, like, he wouldn't have just ate that. So. Here's why I disagree with that. If it was something like, when he heard it, he was next to Chris Rock and he just swung, then maybe, yeah, he didn't mean to hurt him. He walked on stage yeah. premeditated. He had ample time to think about what he was going to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I disagree on the strength of if you went up there to just give him a love tap, it was like, what was the purpose in doing that? Yo, honestly, I hear what you're saying, but the, the reason why I feel like he intentionally didn't want to hurt Chris is because it was all show. It was all the show Jada, like, yo, I got your back. It, but see, here, see, that's all. I, I see what you're saying, but it kind of still looked bad because it's like, if you're going to do that, do it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. If you're going to do it, do it. Like, what is, like, I mean, that's almost when, I mean, I, I don't want to kind of, I don't want to compare it, but it's like, when, it's like when they tell you, if you're going to draw your gun, shoot it. Don't bullshit, don't BS. Yeah, yeah. He drew it, and it was like. Uh, like, yo, if you look at it frame by frame, like, we dudes, right, we men. I don't know if you ever slapped somebody before, but <laughs> when I if I slap somebody, I'm not I'm not doing this. <laughs> like my hand is like my. That's why I say I see what you're saying. I just I did. It's like that's why I said if that's the case, it looks bad. It looks even worse because if you went up there to just do that, you shouldn't have just did that. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, like. Nah, but I, I, especially, especially here's why. Here's why. If it was just because you was just upset of hearing the jokes, fine. But if you went up there with the intention of I'm protecting my wife, 
and that's how you responded, it's like, for real? Like, I don't see how that's going to stop a person from but doing see, what they did. I think that's that didn't, why. To me, that didn't send a message. It didn't send a message. It was just like. No, nah, it did. Who, it did. No. It, it, it did it, to a certain extent. No, I'm talk, no, no, no. I'm talking about as far as the conversation we have and as far as the tempo of how he did it. That's what I'm saying. The tempo of how he did it, it didn't send a message. Like, I feel like, okay, the only reason why Chris Rock wouldn't say anything again is because the backlash he would get from everyone is like, see, you still you still aren't continuing the BS. It's no. not like you it's not like you're not saying anything because you're afraid Will Smith is gonna smack you or whatever. You just afraid of the backlash. But that now, would be funny though. Like, <laughs> like now, it, come on now. Like if you no, just went just in saying, on Jada. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if a, if if you it's like if you if you fighting a dude and you felt like he tried to chinch, like he 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 really leaned into it, you felt his power, and it was like. That's all you got? I ain't afraid to get another one of them from you. Like, I'm not gonna stop being me. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, like, Will, like, it would, like on, even if even Will if Smith, you, Will Smith trained when he when he did the um the, the Ali, Ali movie, movie, right? He actually trained mm -hmm. to fight. Mm -hmm. like, you can't tell me this dude don't know how to throw a punch. Like, and like you said, yo, he got like 40, 50 pounds on Chris, Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. So if he really wanted to like hurt that dude, it would have been different. So you can tell that he didn't intentionally try to hurt him. Mm -hmm. He just kind of did like, yo, shut up. Like, but I I, I I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I just don't again, if it went the whole protect whole I was protecting my wife, you gotta send the ultimate message, period. Because it's not. <laughs> Because it's not about Chris Rock. Because again, that Chris Rock joke, it really wasn't disrespectful. You were just tired of the jokes. Yeah. You were just tired of the jokes. So you want to send the way how the same way how that slap was heard around the world, you want to send a message around the world. Like, look, the next person who even think about saying something, this is how it's going down. But you know what? Nobody's had... really nobody's really afraid of this. And like. Yeah, because it had the adverse reaction. Like, you got comedians coming out like like we just saw. It's, like, even worse. Because they like, yo, they like, dude, you, you did that to Chris Rock because you knew Chris Rock wasn't going to do anything. But, like, you're not going to slap. I don't even think Dave Chappelle would say anything. But knowing Dave Chappelle, he might say something now because he's like, yo, you ain't going to do that to me. No way. I don't, think, I don't think that's how he would do it. But I think in a, I think he would speak on it on a serious note, but then in a joking manner. I mean, but that's but that's to me, that's the point. Like again, like yo, I'm actually I admire Will Smith for everything he did musically, acting-wise, entrepreneurial-wise. I respect the dude immensely. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is one of those moments where it's like, nah, son, that wasn't that. That's not it. That that's that's not lame. one of your proudest moments. Yeah, that's kind of lame. And I feel like um, that's something Dave Chappelle, a comedian like Dave Chappelle, would speak on, even though they cool, they cool. But again, that but that's something that he's gonna have to understand is gonna happen. There's gonna be other comedians yeah. that's gonna speak on it because. Yeah. You're not gonna no there's there's comedians out there that's like hold up, you're not gonna bully me into me not doing my job. Facts. You you know what I'm saying? Facts. And you're gonna get other comedians that's gonna be compelled to want to even you know what? I don't believe you. So I'm gonna say this. Because to me personally, that really wasn't warranted. Facts. And 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 be, to be honest. I feel like to a certain extent, that's a comedian's job is to, is to say the most outrageous thing to make society uncomfortable, look, but at yeah. the same time, at least get, at least pretty much be, be uncomfortable, but comfortable at the same time, because a lot of things got to get said, but it's like comedian, comedian's job is to say certain things that the average person wouldn't say, but they do it to a point that's going to make you laugh. 
Exactly. So you can be okay with it. Like exactly. the way how everybody was joking about 9-11, that was a trying time for everyone. And when comedians, I mean, because it, it was not, it, comedians didn't, t- didn't waste any time to having jokes about that. Because it was so serious, we can't continue to live in fear. We yeah. have to get past it. Yeah. We have to get past it. So the moment people started to laugh at it, it was like, okay, all right. As sad as that was, we have to we have to start the healing process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you could see, and that's what and that's what it seemed like it was at first, because you seen Jada and Will laughing. And then all of a sudden, or whatever the case wow. is, it was like so real laughing. No, they were, they had another angle. They had another angle. It seemed like Jada was uh, laughing at it right before Will went up there. No, yeah, as Will was going up there, it showed it looked like because you see, it looked like she's she, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like it looked like she was, you know, she started like leaning over, like she was laughing about it, and that's when it seemed like Will went up and will stay. Look, yo, it is what it is. No, she had to me like the Nino Brown eyes, like. <laughs> like, yo, go handle that, son. Like, I'm look, look. I right. she was like, forget her, huh, forget, this forget dude her. Just cross the line, point. yo. Go handle that, yo. <laughs> forget her at that point. But yeah, Will definitely laughed, and yeah. that's when it's like, okay, how did you laugh at your wife? And then the next second, I gotta protect my wife. Yo, the, to be honest. I give Chris Rock props. Like, that wasn't in the script. That was like... No, nah, supposedly they said it was. It was written for him to say. Nah, I heard I heard it wasn't. The writers, they said the writers actually put that... The, uh, they put the list of the writers, and they said that it was them that put it in there for the prompter for him to say that. I don't know how I mean, true it is. I don't know how true it is. They said that... I don't okay. know how true it is. Look, 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 look. Either way, either way. Right, my, right, right. I don't, yeah, I don't want to necessarily do. Yeah, my, my point was, it was a funny joke, in my opinion. It was light. It was yeah, light. It was, it, was it was light. It wasn't like the most hilarious thing, but it was funny. It was like, it was. like, because you could think about it, like, he was about to segue onto something else. It was just like, let me, let me put a cap to this. Let me segue to this. And that's when, like, Will Smith came on, on a stage. Like, yo, what you doing? <laughs> Here's my thing. Doing? Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Quick question about it. Yeah. What if they wanted to do a G.I. Jane part two and they wanted to add her in it and she chose to take it? I mean, what if? I don't know. Like, yo, I don't know. But I, I mean, that's a good point. But I, in my heart of hearts, I feel like Will Smith and Chris Rock is going to end up in the movie. I do. And I feel like there's going to be a scene in the movie where Chris Rock... Where somebody fighting them. I think Chris Rock is going to slap the case out of Will Smith's mouth. <laughs> I think that's going to happen, man. It would be whack if it was the, if that was the case, to be honest with you. I think it's going to happen. It would be whack. It would be whack for real, like, because it'd be BS, like, to be honest. Because to me, uh, to, here's, here's my thing. I, I, here's my thing. I think, it, to me, I think that the, the smack part can come and go. But the reason why I don't think it's going to go that far anytime soon, because this is about comedians. Yeah. And this is, it's almost as if like now the comedians are now going to have to kind of worry about when they go do their shows, who's going to be compelled to want to sit there and act like they were taking certain certain things offense, offensive and then want to, you know, uh, I'm going to run up on stage. Because somebody already did that at a Chris Rock show recently. That's what I was about to say. I was going to say, I feel like that's been the case for years. I think that the saddest part of it is no one expects uh a grade A celebrity like Will Smith to, to do what he that. did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's been happening in like comedy clubs for years. Like dudes want to, you know, meet up with you after the, after the, the set. True. And, and I mean, it's, 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 it probably happens so much that we don't even know about it because it's like, yeah. it's water under the bridge. But now, but see, here's the thing. 
we don't hear about it so much. And I don't think we don't hear about it so much because it's not really that important because we still live in an age where people got camera phones. So, and people are quick to pretty much turn their camera on anytime, anytime some scuffle is going to happen. Yeah. So we haven't really seen anything. Over the next three to six months, eyes are going to be open to see just how much times you see something happen yeah. at a comedy show. And if that's the case, it's going to really put a damper on watching. Because, I mean, we done seen. <laughs> Yo, I don't mean to laugh, but uh, Avery Spears was like, Yo, he took a ketchup bottle to the face. <laughs> Like, like somebody was that upset when they threw a ketchup bottle at his face. Like, and I've seen it, I've seen it at, at music concerts where people throw bottles on stage. Like, I mean, this this isn't new. To me, it's not new. People, for whatever reason, feel like they can do whatever to, to entertainers. It, it, they do. I mean, they do it at basketball games, yeah. all that. Like, yeah. It is what it is. But see, here's the thing, right? It's never been cool for that to happen. Nah, not at all. It's never been cool. So on any measure, because at the same time, this is what I do as a job. So at the end of the day or whatever the case is, it's like, Will and Jada have to know because of what they're going through, it's always going to be a possibility that's, especially like, like, like uh, Corey Holcomb said, you sit front row. You sit front row. You leave yourself open to, to, to anything. You're liable for it. You can't sit there and, and act like, okay, it's just like Sherman Clump sitting in a direct view of the, uh, of the comedian or whatever, <laughs> and he aired him out. I think I found where they hit in there. Have a... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like when, when a chick got a bad weave, Whatever, if you wear some loud outfit and you go to a concert and you sit front row, you have to know it's coming. Yeah. Come on. You man. have to know it's coming. So, and now suppose, again, suppose she spoke about a a alopecia. And I'm going to say this, and I, I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to say this. I don't necessarily know anyone personally who's suffering from alopecia. I do. I do. All right. I'm not sitting there saying anytime a person is going through any particular type of mental hurt, it's not really funny. But I'm a, how, here's how I feel about it, because alopecia is what hair loss, you know, sudden hair loss. I'm like, OK, I, I understand, you know, for black women, the hair is a staple. As far as in womanhood, because it's like, yo, it's like. Nothing is correct if your hair isn't right. Doesn't matter what you got going on, the hair is like the the you know like the the cherry on a Sunday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I get all that. So when you now in a situation where your hair is falling out, it's almost as if like you you don't feel pretty no more. I I, I, I can I can understand how that can be for a person. But there's been, a, I mean, but it's crazy because women all the time go through hair issues and they put a wig on. Shit, there's women who, they're growing their hair. I'm tired of doing my hair. I'm going to cut my hair all off. Yeah. And then put a wig on the next day. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. You just had hair. You was tired of it. You cut it off and then put a wig on. The I'm, I'm, I'm like, so... When when a woman is hold on 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 hold on. Anytime there's plenty of men that lose their hair, there's there's somebody every day as far as a man is losing his hair, and if his hairline look jacked up, there's jokes, there's jokes, jokes, jokes because his hairline is is twisted. But he's losing his hair though. Nobody cares about men, bro. Nobody, Nobody cares that he's losing his head off. They'll, they'll have open jokes about it. Nobody cares about men. You know what I mean? About, right? Like a man, if a, a dark skin dude got a bald head, they call him Jordan, Isaac Hayes, whatever the case is and such. All kind of jokes about this. But a woman losing her hair, we got to sit there and feel sorry for her. I'm like, it's not, it, it's not like you're suffering from some cancer type of cancer, leukemia, nothing like that or whatever the case is. 
It's just, you're not going to die because you're losing your hair. Yeah. Men lose their hair all the time. You see, like, how are we, how is there for men, there's no GoFundMe accounts for men that's losing their hair? That's so we got to feel sorry for this woman because supposedly she got alopecia. Like, I don't see, I mean, I seen, there's a dude that used to play in the NBA. The name, um... Uh, 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 I forget Villanueva. I think I think uh, Charlie Villanueva. Yeah. Or whatever. He's playing the NBA. Alopecia. Ain't nobody give a damn about the fact that he ain't grow hair. Ain't nobody care about that shit. Yo, I, I feel like. See what happens is when anything happens, you got like opposing forces, all trying to spin the story. Like immediately, the fact that she had alopecia was like the story they was trying to like spin to, to give us sympathy right, right. but it's right. like and i understand that to a certain extent but it's like so what like if a person has eczema right and, and you can clearly see it on a face and a comedian is like yo he got braille on his face you look like you got burnt or whatever right like <laughs> people gonna laugh like that's like, a fact it just is what it is. Like, is it is it right that people laugh? Is it wrong that he said the joke? That's all like up for like an ethical or moral debate. But in comedy, it's the comedian's job, right, to make people laugh and to comment on his observations. So, is it right or wrong? Whatever. This this ain't a church. This ain't a Bible school lesson, man. This is comedy. Like the fact that people. Or even like trying to criticize Chris Rock for making that joke. Nah, man, he saw he saw observation and his comedic mind processed that and made a joke. And the fact to be honest with you, knowing Chris Rock, he could have went harder. Fact. That was yeah. light. Yeah. That was light. And it wasn't even that funny for it to be for for anyone to feel offended by it. I'm like, come on, man. Like. Really, this is where we have got. <laughs> this is where we. Yeah. This is where we have gotten in our nation to where alopecia is offensive. Yo, he even he said, "Was it the GI Jane joke?" <laughs> it is. My, it is my. It is mine. He was like, "Yo, this dude straight violated me, like, for a GI Jane joke." Yo, I seen a meme. It was like, it was like, it was like Will Smith, Will Smith smacked uh, Chris Rock only to be given an award that looked just like his wife. <laughs> Yo, I think I think we should just call it a wrap on that right there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Yo, yo, that's savage. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm like, yo, I'm sitting here like, yo, I'm like, if that was, if there, if there was something to be mad at, that's what you should have been mad at, Joe. Mush sandwich.